Channel Need viewers, I am DS, a psychologist, and welcome to another episode on Channel Need. So many viewers may have noticed that I am producing videos at a much lower frequency. So initially, it is true that the lower production rate is actually due to reduced motivation. However, recently, I have really been very, very busy with real money revenue generation. So my business has been doing very well. I am really very tired at the end of the day. So sometimes I really lack this drive to want to produce a video. So it's a totally different story altogether. But I decided to produce this video because of one simple word, and that is gratitude. So I did mention in many of my previous episodes, the very recent ones, that I am currently practicing the law of attraction. So it is really working very well for me. I would presume that many viewers, if you want to know more about the law of attraction, you could find videos aplenty out in YouTube. So in this video, I am just gonna document some of the changes I see myself experiencing because the law of attraction is working for me and I am manifesting the life I have ever and I am manifesting a life so good that I think that this is really the best months of my entire life so far. So one of the principles that I'm really following at this moment is act as if. So I am acting as if I am a person of an upper class, I'm acting as if I am a person who is rich and as I do so, I actually really attract more friends who are from the upper class. I have more clients who are from the upper class. I am also seemingly becoming richer. Actually, I shouldn't use the word seemingly. I am becoming richer. So I am also following another principle, spend to get more. So the law of attraction is really working for me at this point and I expect it to work even better as I build more momentum. So I am making this video hoping that viewers, you could actually get inspired by this video, especially fellow ENTJs, because I know we all deserve to be in this position. So I'm not going to talk about the law of attraction. I am going to talk about the changes I'm experiencing after manifesting more and more, and the law of attraction is really working for me. I also find myself having a lot of changes that happen automatically. So prior to this, I am a person who never ever enjoys taking breakfast. But ever since I started to assume the position of a person of a higher class, the person who is rich, automatically the body wants to eat breakfast. It's as if after having fast food for seven consecutive days, your body starts to reject having any more fast food. Similarly, it feels as if the body is asking me to have breakfast. It's as if it's really good for me, I have to do it. So ever since things have been working very well for me, my body is really giving me a lot of signals that I'm actually responding positively to. I have been having breakfast and this has never happened in my entire life. Through my entire life, I do not enjoy eating breakfast so much so that I could even have diarrhea immediately after having breakfast. But so far, everything is going on fine and I recognize it as a signal or a sign from the universe that this is good for me. I used to accumulate a lot of Pepsis so that I could drink when I am back home. Recently, when I drink the Pepsi from the fridge, it doesn't taste good at all. It's also a sign that the universe is telling me, stop drinking this kind of drinks as much. There are two things that the ENTJ does that are really not very conducive for the law of attraction. One is overworking. So the ENTJ is an alcoholic, no, not alcoholic, <laughs> the ENTJ is a workaholic. So they will want to work and work and work for validation. So it was really a struggle for me at first for not wanting to do videos, not wanting to really put my attention on work. But now I no longer feel guilty about it. It feels right. Another behavior that I have is holding. I hold onto things thinking that there might be a use for it in the future. So this, according to many 
law of attraction YouTubers is not a good behavior because you are not making space for what is important to you or for new things to come towards you. This holding behavior has got in its roots this just in case I need it mentality which is actually protective. You are actually hoping that there might be a just in case scenario popping up so which is unhealthy. So I have also for the first time in my life thrown out a total of seven pieces of clothes that I have not worn for a year and I don't ever think that I will even want to wear them now that I am feeling different. So a lot of changes physically and mentally are happening to me. Like I no longer feel guilty for not working. And more importantly, I do not say things as if, oh, I cannot tell the viewers this kind of thing because now it's going on well, but in case it doesn't go on well, I'm jinxing it or something like that. No, I think I freely want to just share. One of the things that has really happened for this channel by far is episode 51, whereby I produce an episode on INTJs. That episode I produced because at that point in time in my life, I was really in love with an INTJ. It didn't work out, but I think that episode really helped a lot of people who wanted to love an INTJ but do not know how. So I shared my personal experience and that experience may not have really caused me to have that INTJ or become closer to that INTJ, but it did help others. I think that the universe sometimes works in very curious ways. As long as you are producing value for other people, you will be taken care of financially and in a lot of other ways. So viewers out there, if you happen to be using the law of attraction and you don't seem to be manifesting, one of the reasons or one of the things that you could ask yourself is, am I adding value to the people around me? The results will show. So currently, my business is doing better because I have reorientated myself in such a way that I have become more empathetic. So let's say when I am reading tarot cards for the clients, last time I thought that as an ENTJ, I would be a very objective reader. I'm going to be very neutral. But no, I realized that recently there is a shift when I am flipping cards I really feel myself rooting for my client. I want my client to get what he or she wants. That is a real shift. So all these things do matter. So it is very atypical of an ENTJ to express gratitude. I have been thinking about this. One of the things that I am going to do is to dedicate this episode as a means of gratitude to the universe for giving me this kind of a greatness and at the same time hoping that this video can also propel and inspire people to actually want to try or restart law of attraction if it had not been working for you in the past. Try it again. Maybe this time ENTJs and other MBTI viewers, you might get something. Because now I think I have gotten the heck of it, it's working. And I know that it will continue to work. Anyway, there's a lot of inertia when I was thinking about producing another episode. It's just as if I've lost my mojo altogether trying to produce any YouTube video. But actually, I don't feel very good producing this one. So I really hope that you enjoyed this as well. If you do, do give us a like. And if you have not subscribed, do consider subscribing so that we can bring you more MBTI and fun stuff. Alright, I'm going to sign off now and I'll see you in our next episode. Bye-bye.